Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to Gab and Jam episode 284. All right, and what are we talking about today? Okay, so this is one of those practical, tactical episodes. This is why use a shortened URL as a DIY rock. Star. All right, this is all on you because I know absolutely oh, nothing sorry. about this. But go you ahead. You do kind of. Not really. A little bit. Okay. Ahead. All right, so as a DIY rock star, you feel um, one of your uh, criteria is for for meeting the um, the bar of being a DIY rock star, sharing your music and your merch. So what better way? Wouldn't it be great to know when people go yeah. and actually um, try to access whatever it is that you share? That's true. That is what. Um, well, this is a non-sponsored post. So I should say that first. Yeah. That's kind of what this um, the shortened URL is for. Okay. So these are the three superb reasons to use a shortened URL as a DIY rock star. Okay. Okay. So the first one is it gives you data on where and how many times and when folks have clicked on the links that you're sharing. So what is a shortened URL? How do you do that? Okay. A shortened URL places like Bitly, Tiny. Uh, links, there are all kinds, and I think even so Google. These are third party companies that will develop it for you, or yeah. Why? So, okay. they, uh, we use Bitly and it's free, um, for a certain number of links per month, okay. And so, what, what we do is thank you, I should have said that in the first place. What we do is when we create something, like for instance, if, if it is a SoundCloud um song that we upload, right? I copy their link, which is this big long thing, right? Yeah. Big long with a whole bunch of letters and numbers, and it says soundcloud.com and all that. I take it over to Bitly and then I create a link and then I can change. So it'll say Bitly and okay. then slash and then I can change it to whatever our, the, the name of our song gotcha. is. Gotcha. Yeah. Or okay. the band name or whatever. Okay. Whatever yeah. it is you want to put. There are certain limitations, but you just make it where it's easier. Yeah. Than having this whole long thing. Long thing. thing. Yeah, right. Okay. Plus, it has all this tracking. Okay. okay. So tracking okay. information. Okay. I, I got you. It. Now now that you have the shortened URL that you're using, um, every time someone clicks on that yes. shortened URL, you know yes. that they are they've clicked on it. Yes. And you know from which where they clicked what on it. What country? From. How many times? Okay. You, you know, know, like what site it came from, like whether it came um, from like Facebook. Or no, some now other you'd, place. you'd have to pay for that. Okay, so that's that's, that's extra money extra if you money. want to get that. Yeah, because data is is really king. Yeah, you know, so the more data that you have all the time, it means a lot. So, yeah, and I think ahead. with Bitly now you can do. Yeah, I was about to say I think now with Bitly you can do QR codes, but I okay. usually go to the free one because I don't know if it costs. I gotta check that. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that's the reason. So okay. it gives you that data, and okay. that kind of lets you know, hey, nobody clicked on it. Or even, you know, like for us, I kind of check every day. I'm a little bit of, of a, um, a fanatic like that. And if nobody's clicking on it, then I share it again. Okay. So then that means that maybe people didn't see it. Maybe I needed to share more. Because yeah. usually we get a certain number right. um, when something is fresh. Yeah. And then if it's, well, you know, if it's been like six months and it hasn't had any clicks, it's right. like, mm, it might be time to share it again. Right. Because maybe it's time, you know, maybe a new set of people. Yeah. You know, you have new followers. Okay. Um, and so, 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 yeah, so it gives you that data. Makes sense. Um, number two, it helps your branding. Just like we said, you can customize it. Yeah. So y you can make it say, like for us, if we're uh, sharing the new album, it's gonna say bit.ly slash Obtainium Flow, and then whatever the name of the song is, or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can actually brand it. Or it yeah. can say Bourgeoisie Paper Jam. Yeah. You know, but just make sure you keep track, like if it, you know, whatever it is. Um, it, 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 whatever you're trying to feature, highlight, yeah. the name would um, be a, a part of it. And then it just makes it look like, you know, um, you are pushing your brand. Which okay. You are, which yeah. You are. No, that makes sense. And then finally, um, you can add tags to that link. Okay. Which is what really tags? great. Tags are the hashtags that, you know, okay. I know some people say that they're going out of fashion, but they still use them at almost every social media that I've seen. So, for instance, if you go to, uh, so you can add tags to them, which means that actually the bitlies that we have created are searchable by, if you go to Google okay. and you put in hashtag Prajipi, sometimes some of the links that we share in bitly, okay. because we don't pay for the premium service, will get found, okay. which is great because it, that means your material is circulating even more. Okay, so, so the tags are 
the benefit of tax are uh, similar to the bit.ly similar to the shortened url mm -hmm. it's a way for people to if they're interested in that topic okay or if they're interested in finding out more about you okay they will they could they could search a topic so let's just say uh if we have hashtag reggae uh, yes on that thing on, that, right uh, you know that that it, obtainium flow but yes you know, bit.ly's for obtainium Your flow, flow may come up as long as i have tagged it in bit.ly which is gotcha. an extra step right. but it's free I and gotcha. so i take advantage okay. of at least five or six different tags that i want gotcha. us to come up whenever yeah. people or, it's, or you could since we do you know for jippy or something like yes. that like blooming for jippy yeah so that those searches would also bring up those bit lists. yes okay yes gotcha and so yeah to me that that's a um, low hanging fruit mm -hmm. and even someone who is not really technical like me i'm not a coder or right. anything like that these are tools that help us you know, build what we're doing a little bit uh, better and then tracking because um, I used to do it through Google and then Google stopped doing the shortened URL. Um, yeah. And so all that data is lost. But now with Bitly for the past, I don't know, five years, I can go back and look and see, Yeah. you know, what or if I want to share a link really quickly. Like if somebody says uh, sometimes I'll see, hey, you know, um, drop your link for a playlist, I can search you know, BPJ Spotify, and I can find which song I want to put, okay. um, I can want to copy that link and share that with them. Okay. It makes it so much easier. Yeah. I mean, if you can imagine seven years worth of material between blog posts, podcasts, YouTube videos, songs, <laughs> I mean, it after a while, it's ridiculous. Yeah. So by having that all in that one uh, short URL shortener, I can search there to find our own material. Yeah. So okay. to that share works. again. Yeah. yeah. And that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So again, just something to make life a little bit easier. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah. Yeah. So um, what about you guys? Do you use a shortened URL? If so, leave it in the comments below. Yeah. There are so many of them. And I will actually put in the blog post some of the ones um, that I've seen that are the most popular, but you may have something that's even yeah, more better, high powered, yeah, right, yeah. and free and has yeah. more options. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, so leave it in the comments below. And what else? And Sugar Fit, as you know, it's uh, available. You can get it at Bandcamp. You can get all the shit on Bandcamp. You know, all search our for shit. Jimmy, you can yes. do that. Uh, but Bourgeoisie Paper Jam, if you are looking to get the music itself, yes, right? Yes, thank you for saying it. We yeah. had one person that said, I saw uh, a, a link and it says some jam group. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah, us. That I know, us. that's yeah. us. Bourgeoisie Paper Jam. Yeah, so. But make sure you follow us on all your streaming services, social media platforms, because you don't want to miss. We have a new album coming up. Yeah, very, Octanium very soon. Octanium Flow, yeah. right. Yeah, so. And we don't want you to miss any of um, the shenanigans that are going on with it because we're we're planning on giveaways and merch and all that other good stuff so we don't want you to miss it yep all right if you dig the vibe and you want to be a part of the tribe be sure to subscribe we're wishing you love peace and chicken grease and hit the like button hit the like, like button. button like button thank you